Reddit confessions and cake. 2. Let's go. Overheard wife and sister talk about my WTF. My sister 16F is currently visiting us me 30 and wife 28F. I work from home on a different time zone than ours so my bedtimes are kind of hectic. Today after waking up from sleep my wife and sister were in the kitchen and I overheard them talking about my junk. Tried to sneak in order to jump scare them and they were talking about pe- Do girls do that a lot? And I remember hearing my wife saying that mine was too small for her. But it gets the job done. My sister laughed then wife told her that she can show it to her on the phone which made me want to intervene before she actually does show it to her. So I went back to the room and made it sure this time they heard me walking towards the kitchen. Now it's kind of playing on my mind. How is she talking about my unit so casually to my sister? Do girls do this a lot or is this something abnormal? And why was she okay with showing it to my 16 year sister? I kind of want to confront her about it but I'd what to say. I showed a guy I've been seeing for a few months a picture of me when I was 35 pounds heavier and his reaction shocked me. I've been seeing this guy for 2 months and it's been great. He has all of the qualities I've been looking for in a person he's sweet, funny, polite, great in bed, etc. We go out to eat at least once or twice a week and in the past couple of months I've gained a few pounds, maybe 6-10. When we go out we get appetizers, mains, drinks and then breakfast out the next day. I was joking with him earlier today about gaining weight. But I also said it's a good thing I look good at different weights, whether it's 120, 140 or 170. He snapped his head towards me and said, 170? No way you've ever been 170. I pulled up a photo of me from 2019 and he stared in awe. I could see sparkles in his eyes. He begged me to show him more photos of me at that weight and asked if I had any ones lol. His reaction shocked me because I so often feel like I have to force myself to be small. And for what? It's okay to not be teeny tiny. It made me feel safe and appreciated. My wife has a p's. When we first met we agreed to not have p's until marriage due to religious purposes. Normally this would be a deal breaker for me, but I loved her so much I agreed to wait. After our wedding day I noticed she started acting kind of strange and kept making excuses every time I would try to make a move. A week went by like this until today when she bursted in tears. I've never seen her act this way but she started acting very strange. This led to her revealing that she was a hermaphrodite or inner p's is how she put it. I was in shock and denial. I couldn't believe what I was hearing and how she could have kept this from me. Without going into too much detail she ended up showing me and I did finally end up seeing her p's. I've never felt so confused in my life. On one end I do love her, but I don't think I can do this. Apparently she had the option of getting it removed but refused going through surgery. I don't think this is going to work out and I feel ashamed of telling anyone about this. I found two dead bodies this morning. The title pretty much covers it. I went for a walk with two people this morning in one of my favorite hiking spots, and we found two dead bodies and a revolver in a stream. We thought they were mannequins at first, but called 911 anyway. They turned out to be very real, and now we're all wrapped up in an investigation. It's a lot to process, and I don't know who to talk to or what to feel. My husband asked me to open our marriage, so I downloaded Tinder and showed him how many I matched with. I f40 really thought everything was great between us m40. We love each other more than anything. We have twee beautiful children a big home and great jobs. We have great ex and we have a lot in common. Last week he told me that he wanted to ask me something but that I mustn't take it the wrong way. He wanted to open the marriage. I started crying. Did he not love me anymore? Is he not attracted to me? Is he cheating? Why not divorce me then? His answer was no, no. No and no. It's not about love or happiness because he has both. Just something new and exciting. I was distraught the whole day and later that evening I downloaded Tinder. I uploaded one of my least flattering pictures. Wrote that I'm a mother of two, F3M1 and that I was in an open marriage. I showed my husband my profile. After one hour I got over 100 matches. Next day it was around 2000. My husband got very angry and demanded I deleted the app. He said he got the point and to forget about it. Now he is back to normal but I can't forget about it failed date because I told the guy he should get a prostitute. I had a lunch date earlier that I thought was going well until it came to actually paying for the food and I was planning on paying for myself but he insisted. But oofc it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart or chivalrous or anything no why would it be. After we ate he wanted me to come back to his place with him. And I kindly said not cause it was just our first date and he got a little agitated and kept talking about how I must have used him for free food as if I didn't offer to pay for my own food. And he doesn't know why women are like this cause we were having a good time and why not continue that. Like there aren't other things to do that aren't your I told him he might as well just hire a prostitute so his money doesn't go to waste. I meant it as a joke, but I guess it's not funny if you're the frustrated one because he had the most grossed out expression on his face. As if what he wanted to happen wasn't just pro 
conversation with a middleman the restaurant we just went to our own homes after that he just sent me a text telling me what I said was a weird thing to say on a first date but so was trying to guilt trip me into coming to your house my food was only $10 I once found a bag of weed at school and sold it to my dad. Disclaimer I was in the fourth grade. My dad used to sell weed when I was a kid. I knew what it was. He would have people come over when he was asleep and we, his kids, would sell it for him. I found a bag of weed on the ground while walking out of school one day. I picked it up before anyone could see and took it home. My dad wanted me to give it to him but I made him buy it off of me. I knew it wasn't something you just give away. Learn from him lol. As a kid I couldn't sleep or blink without seeing a scary old man. Back in probably 3rd or 4th grade when I would close my eyes, even just blinking, in the blackness I would see an old man in a rocking chair who would slowly rock back and forth, winding up a jack in the box. The longer I kept my eyes closed the more he would inch closer and closer in my vision like there was a camera zooming into his face. I was so scared of what was going to happen when the jack in the box popped. I had zero control over this thing and since his proximity wouldn't reset when I opened my eyes I would refuse to sleep or blink as much as possible to avoid him. I don't remember what happened to make me sleep again. I probably passed out, but it felt like such a bizarre time in my life and I'm still not sure why it happened. Saw a lady being harassed by two men. I was at a gas station filling up my tank yesterday when I saw two men trying to flirt on a lady filling her car up. She was calm and collective at first but got louder as the men kept pursuing her. I decided to walk over to them and I asked her how was the meeting today darling? She looked at me and said it was good, I'll tell you more about it when we get home in a few. I replied with wonderful I'll pick up your favorite for dinner. The two guys left in a hurry and she told me you have no idea how much that meant to me. Thank you. I said you're very welcome ma'am. You can never be too careful. I made sure the guys left before I walked back to my car and as I was walking back all I could do was think I hope a man does that for my future daughter one day. I threw eggs from the 16th floor of my apartment to maintain peace and quiet. I used to live on the 16th floor of an apartment building. There was a pub on the ground floor and people would often congregate late at night in the street in front of the pub entrance. This was a hindrance to residents because we would wake up at 1 or 2 in the morning to drunk people talking outside. My apartment had two balconies on two sides of the building so I often looked down on people grouping together on both sides of the building. I got fed up with it and decided to drop an egg where a group of people were chatting. They immediately dispersed and I could enjoy my sleep again I did this on another occasion and again it worked. I started buying more eggs and it became a habit that I practiced for about 6 months. No one had a clue it was me, and I even went to the pub and overheard people chatting about eggs being dropped from balconies in the building. I feel sorry for young Americans. I'm not American, I'm from Qatar, but I'm studying in the US and currently living with an American family. Their youngest kid is now at that point in his life where he is looking at colleges and weighing his options and one of the options he is considering is the college I'm at RN. This kid already has a job and a ton of money his parents has saved over the years for his education. All of that hard work his parents put in and the hours he worked at that job just to go to the same school as me. A guy who got a full scholarship paid for by his government just cause I got somewhat above than average grades in high school. It really made me think about how much stress he'll have to go through and how little the US is doing for its citizens considering their wealth. How come Qatar and other Gulf countries can fund all these programs and benefits free education, free health care? zero income tax for their citizens but the United States the richest country in the world can't? My fiancé lied about being trans and I don't know what to do. I 24 f met my fiancé 25 at university two years ago. I am Muslim and have never dated anyone in my life before him. He said that he was a Muslim revert and that his parents did not accept him. He told me that he liked me last year and I explained to him that he should go and talk to my parents because I didn't want to be in a relationship without their approval. Religion is important to me, very important as I feel calm when I pray and I find that I've been a lot happier since I started focusing on it. Hence why I asked him to go talk to my parents. Eventually Eventually, I got to know him and we started dating last year and got engaged in January this year. Everything was great, he's an amazing person and I have nothing against him. Here's where the issue comes in, we were hanging out with a couple of friends before one of his friends started naming everyone's red flags as a joke. Then he got to me and said is religious but is planning to marry a trans man. At first, I laughed it off because I thought he was joking but he was serious. I have nothing against the LGBTQ community. I believe that they are humans just like us and should not be discriminated against at all. But I didn't understand why he didn't tell me. I asked him about it after we were leaving and he confessed. His family knew about his transition and were in fact, in the picture, fully supportive. He would call and message them regularly and they knew that he was engaged. They knew he reverted to Islam. They paid for this surgery that helped make his voice deeper and paid for his...
reassignment surgery. I asked him if he was planning to tell me that he was trans to which he responded not until the marriage was over. I don't know what to do. Religion is important to me and as per religion, I can't marry him, but I love him so much. And at the same time, he lied to me. He told me that his family hated him for being Muslim and cut him off completely. He told me he was from a poor country and had issues gaining weight. I never thought that he was lying to me, not once. I want to tell my parents, but I'm scared they'll cut him off for good. I'm scared he'll lose all of my friends because they'll think I left him because I couldn't handle marrying a trans man. I feel stupid. I guess I just needed to get this off my chest for now. I proposed to my boyfriend of 10 years and he rejected me. I am absolutely heartbroken right now. I 36 f proposed to my boyfriend 35 meters of 10 freaking years and he said he doesn't want that kind of commitment and marriage is not his thing. I just don't understand this. We built business together. I paid for his college to help him start his career which very successful now. We were about to build a house. I supported him all these years. And now it turned out all this was a lie. I am moving out with our two dogs in two weeks and I just can't stop crying. Our relationship was so great. I don't understand why this is happening. Was he just playing me all these years? Thank you for watching the video all the way through. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.